What is crackalackin' everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another gameplay reaction. And Pokemon Legends Arceus? Is that how you say it? I haven't actually watched any of the trailers, the most recent trailers in the last few months that have come out for this game. Uh, a lot of like mini trailers that came out for gameplays and stuff i haven't i saw the original i reacted to the the first trailer that came out and that's about it now this one is like a 13 minute or so uh gameplay video so it should be interesting so without further ado let's get into this welcome trainers thanks for joining us today for Ooh. a preview of the upcoming Live game commentary. pokemon legends arceus releasing January 28th exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system. Today, we wanted to give you a first look at some new gameplay. So let's begin. Your uh, adventure is, the final is set in the footage? expansive Hisui region. Why? In an age long ago when it was rare for people and Pokemon to live in close harmony. In time, Hisui will come to be called the Sinnoh region. This definitely Mount feels like Korin more... Rises uh, from the you remember center that of the game Hisui that region, somebody made and then Nintendo all like sides took it out? By areas with distinct it actually feels like an open world RPG. Each area is rich in natural features and plays host to different that I Pokemon like. ecosystems. One such area is the Obsidian Fieldlands, which wow. you can see the trainer exploring <laughs> it's here. totally different than what we usually... filled with Pokemon that call those who their home. Each area in Hisui has loads to discover, and you should make sure to collect a variety of different raw materials as you explore. Oh man. These materials all this can collection be used to and all of that is going to be... help you on your journey, including healing items, lures, smoke bombs, a mysterious invention called a Pokéball, and more. <laughs> a your Pokémon team can help you collect Pokemon. these materials too. You can find all kinds of useful resources across the region just by breaking rocks, picking up plants growing in the wild grass, defeating or catching Pokémon, or knocking items out of trees. Here we see the trainer using some of the materials they have collected to craft items in preparation for their next mission. What? No, oh, this is a, a completely different game. Completely. All kinds of Pokemon Jeez. will appear depending on the time of the day like and Pokemon the weather other than they are, Different yeah, species Pokemon of in Pokemon there, but... also have different temperaments. Some may ignore you as you approach, like this Bidoof. Some species, like Starly, you? are skittish and will run away if the they guy see just you stood approaching. There, though, and looked there at are us. even aggressive <laughs> Pokemon that will attack you should they spot you in the wild. So you actually if don't an battle? aggressive Pokemon spots you, or if you fail to catch it on your first sneak attempt, the Pokemon will enter an alert state. In this state, all Pokeballs you throw will simply be deflected by the Pokemon. Oh, in order to catch a Pokemon in this state, okay. you must battle it. All right, so you that's how that works. You can initiate a battle by throwing a Pokeball containing one of your own partner Pokemon near a wild Pokemon. Interesting. Now that's more natural. We gotta give it that. You can use items to your advantage when catching Why are we seeing like a lot of these Pokemon for example, from throwing a berry like near a, a Pokemon will shining era. The Pokemon will then start eating. While eating, the Pokemon is much less aware of your presence, allowing you to go in for a backstroke. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, those are the elements you kind of used in Pokemon Let's go, right? Pikachu and when Eevee. Encountering aggressive wild a lot Pokemon, of those. You have to With be the careful. Berries and these now, those features you have to use Pokemon Go, I actually forgot. Jeez. If you take too much damage, you will black out and lose some of the items you were carrying when you fainted. Oh, the Pokédex. As part of the Survey Corps, you are on a mission to catalog and research all the different Pokémon that live in the harsh environments of Hisui. Not only will you need to catch many types of Pokemon on your mission, but you will also need to observe them using certain moves or displaying certain behaviors. When you are finished in the field, you can visit Professor Laventon to hand in your survey report. This will update your Pokedex, as well as increase your rank in the Survey Corps. You will also receive funds from the Professor, which you can use to buy items and materials to help you with your research. Okay. This is... 
going in a completely the vastness of the Hisui region is daunting to explore on different foot. direction this game. Luckily, throughout your adventure, you will encounter a number of special Pokemon that will help you get to where you need to go with grace and speed. Weird Ear helps you navigate on land faster. Hisui and Braviary, on the other hand, allows you to soar through the skies. Oh, all right. Open world. Basky Legion allows you to traverse the rivers and seas throughout the Hisui region. With these Pokemon by your side, you will be able to explore the Hisui region to your heart's content. Jubilee? Jubilife Village is the Jubilife. center of operations for the Galaxy Expedition Team, a group made up of people who have come from different regions to study and live in the harsh region of Hisui. The Galaxy Team includes various corps, such as the Medical Corps and the Security Corps, as well as the Survey Corps, which carries out research on how Pokemon live. Jubilife Village will serve <laughs> as the base for Where the is this game missions. going, man? After receiving a mission or a request Holy. and preparing for your next excursion, You'll set out from the village to study one of the various areas of the Hisui region. After you finish your survey work, you'll return once more to prepare for your next task. Along with the headquarters of the Galaxy Team and your own lodgings, Jubilife Village is also home to a variety of different services, such as the clothing. The way this game is going, craft this will take like a the long time to complete. Where you can trade Pokemon with other players. There is so much stuff that you have to do. The traversal, the way the, the world itself works. You can receive a variety of the different of missions and requests is. from the inhabitants of Hisui. Okay, I really hope it doesn't get boring. Requests I really are do small hope. tasks that you do to help the residents of Hisui, while missions will advance the main story. Once you receive a mission or request, it will be added to your Arc Phone. The Arc Phone is a mysterious device that allows you to track your movements, mark locations on the map, and track your current missions and requests. Missions and requests vary in their objectives. Some examples of these objectives include discovering a specific Pokemon, finding a variety of different items, defeating powerful Pokemon in battle, or catching a number of one specific Pokemon for research. I mean, Please it makes sense this since this is a the prequel, which I only request. came to know recently, that it just feels like a big reset for the series. It's completely, yeah, you have Pokemon, you catch them, there's that element, but other than that, it like, feels like it's like whatever they learned from uh, Pokemon Go and all these other games, and they added those elements and just made a completely, completely different game. Just really do hope throughout this, the interest factor you know, that factor that you want to keep playing this game, that stays strong. I really do hope that stays strong because what they're showing is they've made this a huge world. There's so many things to do. But it's like also like I don't want a Pokemon game where it's like, oh, we're just roaming and roaming and just doing different things. And the story just kind of gets... It's more a game where you do things and you have all these ways of, like catching pokemon and all these quests and side quests and all but then it's just kind of you can emptiness. initiate a pokemon you feel the emptiness I, one I just of your do feel pokeballs at or the emptiness you don't pokemon. feel the emptiness if a wild pokemon does not see you approaching and you strike them with one of your partner's pokeballs this will catch them unaware and may grant you an extra chance to attack in battle don't kill it i'm gonna catch it uh oh. Battles are turn based. And you oh, I haven't seen Electabuzz in a while. My man Electabuzz. Strong style. Strong? What? Or agile style. Using a move in the agile style raises the user's action speed which may make the user's next turn come sooner at the expense of reducing the move's power. Strong style moves can allow you to attack with more power, oh my God. but using them may delay your Pokemon's next turn. If an enemy can withstand one of your strong style moves, prepare to be attacked multiple times in retaliation. Uh... Using agile style moves and strong style moves in battle 
There's Causes give and take now. To use more there is give and take now. So be careful when Can't just be dogs. like, okay, I'm a just going to do is the key to victory. Do the strong versus weak attacks. While surveying the wild, that's that. you may come across a Pokemon that appears different to the others of the same species. These are known as Alpha Pokemon and are much larger and have glowing red eyes. Be careful when approaching them if you are not Wild prepared. Rain? They are very aggressive and will take a powerful team and strategy to take down. Here, the player uses agile style Thunder Wave to paralyze their opponent, delaying their turns and making them easier to catch, while also changing move priority in an advantageous way for the player. Strategies like this are key to defeating Alpha Pokemon. Oh, there is going to be a learning. Catching an alpha Pokemon is a challenge, but if you manage it, they will be a very powerful ally in your adventure. A huge learning curve to this one. Oh my god! My man, Raichu! Come on now. By visiting the Clothier, you can customize your character with a variety of different clothing items. I did that face because I don't care about clothes and games. I keep, uh, most sure of the time I keep like, that to you. really do I change? Here is a I really keep that's the original whatever it is and just can wear. keep on going. Unless like it's like, you know, in games like RPG games where it matters, where your hairstyle, customization, hair color, your armor and, and stuff will actually affect the, the game. Dresser. But other than that, like, oh, hairstyle and this style and the that style. Can be dangerous. Not that for That doesn't me. mean you can't look your best. But I understand. I understand the appeal of it. After all, it's a Pokemon game. I get that. It's just not for me. Move on. All right, noble Pokemon. What is that? During your adventure, you will have to face off against special Pokemon called noble Pokemon. What? A strange phenomenon is causing what? the nobles to become frenzied, making them rampage. Wait, what are As we- As part of the Survey Corps, you will be recruited to calm these frenzied nobles. Yo! Okay. Simply defeating them in battle will not calm them. You will have to quell their frenzy by throwing bombs made using these noble Pokemon's favorite foods. It can be difficult to get uh, a noble with these bombs. Another element that's like completely different from what we've seen before. The moment you see an opportunity, hit them with as many bombs as you can. Hey, like you don't fight them the with the Pokemon? You just... need to aim carefully. Noble Pokemon will attack the player directly, and if you take too much damage, you will black out. Ah, uh, you'll have to play uh, play this game with Balance like your bombs with the controllers attack, out, because otherwise aiming and stuff will be so hard. Ah, uh, come point on! The fight, the noble no. Pokemon may let down its guard. This is the time to throw your Pokeball and start a Pokemon battle. These battles are tough. And planning ahead is essential if you wish to calm the noble Pokemon down. There's just so much detail now on the screen. Oh, let. What? My man's bubble attack was something. We hope you enjoyed the sneak peek of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Countless adventures await you in the Hisui region, and we cannot wait for you to get your hands on the game after it releases on January 28th, exclusively on the So Nintendo much stuff. Switch. We will see you very soon in Hisui. Bye! <laughs>
Whereas if you play Breath of the Wild, especially on the Nintendo Switch itself, if it's on a monitor, yes, when it expands, you can see some of the some of the issues in, uh, graphically. But it, this one, it just it just felt it's lesser. That's just me. That's probably why what the game looks like in an earlier build, and the final game will look different. And that's another thing. I'm gonna go straight into that. Like, why are they showing an earlier build? I mean, what? The game is 15 days away from when we we're doing this reaction. About two weeks. So why why not just show at this point, show what the final thing is going to look like? You know? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But. But let's see. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. I'm optimistic because... There is a lot of stuff that they are adding. It actually feels like a different game. It doesn't feel like the usual, you know, even up to Brilliant Diamond or so. There have been changes, like small changes here and there. They've added elements in all the previous generations. They've always added, but the overall idea stayed the same. Even in uh, Sword and Shield, the overall idea stayed the same. Yes, you, your character, you move them differently. It was more 3D, uh, the way you interacted with the Pokemon in the world. That was different. But still, the the overall, like, when it comes to it, the overall appeal of it was typically the same thing. This is like a full reset button. It's completely changing everything. But those elements... Since this is more of a prequel and it takes place from what I've read so far, that it takes place before Pokemon Yellow and so. Like, this story takes place before all of that. So, all of these elements, either it's, if it's a reboot of the franchise, that's one thing. But if, you know, it takes place before that and that's the story we know, you know, after that it all happens, then... It's like, okay, well, you jump from this to the other games. It's like, okay, then that doesn't make sense, you know. But, but I'm optimistic. Cross my fingers, I'm going to be optimistic because this is actually the first game where they're like, okay, we're going to change and we're going to try to do something very, very different. So I have to give them that and I have to give them the benefit of the doubt that this will be different and this will probably refresh the whole franchise so there are so many things going on i just really do hope the world itself does not get boring that will be key because if you're just roaming around and just doing stuff after stuff after stuff just to increase the time that you play the game that's gonna end up get boring like really quick so that's kind of my take on this one what do you all think? All the Pokemon fans, all the real, really, you know, like the hardcore Pokemon fans that know everything about these games, every mechanic. What do you all think? Leave a comment below. Let me know. And other than that, I want to say thank you for watching. Thanks for all the support. If you like this reaction, there are a whole lot of others on the channel. Please go have a watch. And yeah, take it easy. Take care. And I'll catch you all soon. Until then, ta-ta. Take out.